by Weather8 for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, we started the day off on a murky note. Lots of fog uh, from Springfield north and east, uh, but actually more north and northwest. But we got rid of the fog pretty quickly. I mean, we were done with the low cloudiness by about mid morning. The problem is these high clouds have just been so persistent this week and they were rather thick throughout the day here in Springfield. That kept us from getting too far above the 50 degree mark. In fact, officially the high today in Springfield 50 degrees. We're sitting at 48 degrees right now. Winds out of the south southwest at three miles per hour. There's a look. Uh, high cloudiness continues across the area. It's looking like it's beginning to thin out, though, maybe at least on the northwest edge. And that trend will continue overnight tonight. Tomorrow looks to be a very, very bright day. We've got a cold front which is going to move through this evening, and that front will usher in some colder air. So it looks like while today wasn't real warm, we still managed to hit 50. Tomorrow, we're not going to do that. It looks like highs only in the 40s. Uh, we'll start on a bright and cold note. We will end on a bright and chilly note. But the key word in there is bright. It looks like we're going to find mainly sunny conditions from start to finish. It appears to be our sunniest day of this work week, and we deserve it. It's been, uh, you know, yeah, we've had some sun here and there, but we could certainly use more sun than we've seen if you're like me. Uh, as far as temperatures tonight, they'll dip into the middle and upper 20s in many areas here across southern Missouri. It looks a little warmer south of the state line where lows will be in the low 30s. And then highs tomorrow will range from near 40 in Rolla, 41 in Fort Leonard Wood here in Springfield, 43. West over toward Joplin, 46, and down in Branson looks like a high of 46 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Uh, as far as tomorrow night into Saturday, I think we're going to hold on to mostly clear conditions overnight Friday night. And it looks like with the mostly clear skies and that colder air coming in behind that front overnight tonight, we're going to set ourselves up for a cold start to our Saturday. And then clouds are going to increase pretty quickly. I think for the morning hours, we may be looking at mostly sunny to partly sunny conditions, but then the afternoon looks partly to mostly cloudy. And it looks like that's going to come with chilly temperatures. So morning lows look like this, maybe 19 in Rolla, 20 in uh, Lake Ozark here in Springfield. Looks like we could dip down into the low 20s. And then afternoon highs will only be in the low to mid 40s across the area. And that too will come, I think, with a breezy southeast wind. So it's going to be a coat kind of day on Saturday. As far as the pattern going forward, uh, it may be a little hard to see, but we've got a pair of storms here located off the west coast of the United States. And that's what is going to play a role in our weather late this weekend into next week. The lead storm will impact our area Sunday into Monday. The following storm will impact our area on Wednesday. Now this lead storm looks like it'll spread rain into the area overnight Saturday night. And I think with very dry air in place, across our eastern counties. We're talking about areas near and east of Highway 63. There is going to be some risk for an icy mix to start off the day. So areas from maybe, uh, say, uh, maybe Vichy southeast across Salem, possibly in the northern Shannon County. This may be an area where we have an icy mix of freezing rain and sleet to start off the day on Sunday. And I can't rule out slick roads early in the day. That should quickly transition over to just plain old rain, and we will have that risk for showers on and off at times during the day on Sunday. Sunday does not appear to be a washout. The one thing that's going to be kind of tricky to forecast here is how warm do we get. If we hold on to east-southeast winds, which I think we may over our eastern counties, that is a colder look in regard to temperatures where we may see highs just stuck in the 40s. Meanwhile, closer to this front, winds may become a bit more southerly, so we may get some 50s into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. I think here in Springfield, we're going to sort of be on the line. That front will dip south of the area. I think we're going to see another low developing on that front over northern Arkansas. That will become the primary low, and that means we're going to stay sort of locked in, I think, with chilly temperatures on Monday. It could finish off as a light wintry mix up towards central Missouri by the end of the day or heading into Monday night. I think for Springfield, we're just looking at rain 49 for the high on Monday, but I think temperatures will be falling back during the afternoon. At least Tuesday looks rather cloudy, high of 39. And I think with colder air in place, the next storm we're going to have to keep an eye on. I think that one still has some potential to produce rain or snow showers on Wednesday of next week. Uh, potential for snow coming back. All mm -hmm. right, Jamie, thank you. On the way, I hear 5-1 Animal Shelter